What's up gamers, it's me Tonic and welcome to Slaps or Nah, where we rate games on a first impression basis. And today's game is called Digs from the publisher Catchy and the developer named Catchy as well. And this game is going to be $15 in Steam. It releases on July 31st. That's a Monday. So if you're interested in this, interested in this game, come with me. And let's play it for a little bit and give our slaps or nah first impression. So this game is a rogue-like game. I've already went through the tutorial. As you can see, we have these little monsters that will attack us in intervals. I will explain as we play what's going on. This game is similar to... A game I've played before which is plants vs zombies but it's also I'm sure like a lot of other tower defense type games and your first thing you want to do is you're gonna start in this little mine here and we are going to start clicking blocks to get rid of them now the catch to this game is that portal right in the middle is where the monsters will come out of and the monsters are trying to get our gold which is right there and you see at the bottom right hand of our screen, you can see that we have 20 gold right now. But the more the monsters will hit the gold, the more we lose. And if we lose all of the gold, we do not win. Now, up here at the top, quickly is what they call noise level. So every time we mine a block, it creates noise. And once our noise gets down to zero, as you can see right here, it's still at 10, the monsters will release. So we have 10 waves to get through this until we get to the boss. And we'll unlock a new boss once we get all through the waves. And you can see here what comes out of the portal is these monsters right here at the moment. Now, as we hit each wave, the monsters will change. But the cool thing is, once we unearth a block, which we're about to do, you get power-ups or uh, tools to use. This one is a crystal, and it shoots lasers at the monsters. So that's pretty handy. But as you can see, our level went down one. So our noise level hit zero, monsters are coming. So we got to be prepared, which means we got to create a path to get this gold as far away as possible from this monster portal. All right, so we just unlocked cool things. We've got a barricade, which is this, which you can't put it directly away. You can't block it directly, but you can block it like this so they still have to have a path the monsters have to have a path to the gold we can't cheat the monsters no no never we would never do such a thing but what we can do is create it a very hard time for them when they're coming through so this is an orb right here this can, is area damage so if the monsters hit inside of this aura it will damage them as long as they're inside of it all right, we're almost down to our noise level being at peak. So we need to move this gold as far as we can. And we need this laser. I think the laser will be good here. We should be able to hit them in three different ways once they start coming. And we're going to move the gold back as far as possible. That barricade's not going to help us any. All right, so here we go. Made too much noise. So now I must prepare. So the cool thing about this game is it does give us time to set everything up before we come up here and click this scary eyeball where the monsters are coming out. So right now we have limited places to put everything. We don't have anywhere I can put this barricade because it's going to block the path completely. And unfortunately, I don't think I can move this crystal anywhere that would be useful either, except maybe... If I could move that barricade, that would be handy. But I don't think I can. So we're going to go ahead and take our chances. Click the button. Here we go. You'll see the monsters pour out. And luckily, that was his first wave. So no big deal. Now, we just unlocked a new boss. It heals his buddy. Is this what this is called? It heals his buddy. So, so far, I think this game is definitely leaning towards slaps. It's definitely staying away from Nah because it's got an interesting concept. And I like the strategy portions of this game. I think it's pretty nice. 
Um, also, by the way, we can right click the blocks and it will tell you what they do. So this is sandstone. It may contain a barricade. But you can right click on one that's got a crystal. It says it's a crystal block. may contain a regular crystal. So on and so forth. So let's keep rolling there. Now, okay, the orange ones, if you saw the yellow right there, that's actually a card block. Card blocks give you power-ups. See if we can get one. And these ones right here with a little X is a trap block. It may contain a regular trap. You have a 50% chance of getting one. Still no card. But the good thing is we can move this barricade over here. We can move our gold way out here. So we're going to make a path longer for the monsters to come. So it gives us more time to zap them with our lasers as they come by. Let's see if we can get... All right, we got us a card. So these are the cards you can get. The zapper will turn a crystal into a zapper, and you can hide it behind a wall, and it will still affect the enemy. Luck will give us more luck for card draws. And frost orb will create aura around it. gives it a frost effect to the enemy, so we can freeze the enemies. With the aura instead of also, you know instead of attacking them directly, so it's a little more damage. So I think I'm going to go with the zapper for now. And you can take your card, you drag it to one of your orbs. I think I'll put it right here in the middle. All right, we just made too much noise, and now the monsters are going to come again. And as you can see, we're going to have all these monsters coming at us. All right, so let's click our eyeball here. Wave two on its way. We should be able to handle that with ease. New boss unlocked, the producer boss. Ooh. Okay, so now we're going to just keep clicking blocks. I haven't got any traps yet. So we are going to try to make it harder. We're going to put the barricades. You see how it affects their path. The barricade is helpful in slowing them down, and you can zap them with your lasers. We do need more lasers. Still have not got any traps. All right, perfect. Another orb. That's beautiful. We'll move our gold back. And we're going to set this aura right there. So wait, let's put it right here. They'll come by there and get hit right before they get to our gold. All right, we didn't. Un oh, we got another aura. Sweet. So now we can put one here too. So they potentially can get hit by... You know what? Let's try this, actually. So now we know for sure they're going to get hit coming up this way. All right, wave three. Let's do it. All right, our zappers is handling them pretty well so far. All right, we've unlocked a new enemy. Splits in half. This guy is actually tougher. I did this in a tutorial. He gets... Those guys can take a lot more damage. Now, what's also going to happen is when we hit a certain wave, it's going to add another portal into the map. So not only will we have this portal with monsters coming out, we'll have another portal somewhere in here with monsters coming out. So that's how the difficulty increases. Smart Crystal. Yes, yeah, Smart Crystal is always targeting the strongest enemy. We like this. This has got good damage. So we're going to get that card. We're going to put it on this guy right here. So that's nice. Now we're going to move our gold back. I really need to unlock more... Traps. I still haven't got a trap. So, all right. Awesome. We got another zapper. We need those. All right. Boom. We got two. We're going to bring this up. So we make sure we hit them guys hard before they get to our gold. We're going down, son. Oh, we got another card. Awesome. So we're going to get another smart crystal. And we're going to. Oh, sorry. I can only. I have to have two, two noise points available and I don't have them. See here. Top right hand corner of the card tells you how many noise points you need. So can't use that until next turn. We should be okay though. We should get through this one pretty easily. I've got plenty of defense right off right off as they and as they exit the portal. I can get my words out here. New enemy portal open. Here's what I was telling you about. So we got another enemy portal coming. Oh, and look, it's right here by the gold. So now we have to strategically place our gold. And we really have to defend this area. We got to get more defense in this area. So hopefully we'll get some more perfect. We can get the aura going right there. And if, by the way, these obsidian blocks, you cannot move them as you probably already noticed. 
Man, I really need some crystals. Oh, yeah, that's what we need right there. Need more zapping power, baby. Traps. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Now, traps you can put directly in the pathway of the enemies. So they will take damage regardless, so it doesn't block their path, but they still get hit by it. Trap blocks are perfect. And we can get these auras. So we're really going to pack a punch here as they come out of this portal as well. And again, bam, we got more traps. So that's perfect. This is our here. We got it set up perfectly for us uh, on this wave. And yet another trap. So boom. Damage should be good. We should be able to take these guys out. And I forgot to use my smart crystal, but I'll use it next round. Oh, we got a boss. There's the uh, Chesty McSpawnmore. I don't know, though. This, this boss coming out is in. All right. I think we should be good. Oh, they, they made it to our gold. They made it. We lost a little bit of gold there. We're down to 16. And now we have a new, un new enemy unlocked. This is the fast enemy. Okay, so not as ex much of success as we was hoping there. However, we did... Uh, I thought we did pretty good, though. Obviously, I think we did pretty good. We just need more firepower. The smart laser is going to help with that. And we could put some traps in this route as well. Ooh, where can I add more crystals? Right here. All right, so we got a lot more firepower in case we get no more of those nasty bosses. Oh, yeah, perfect. Let's see. Let me clear out the spot right here. All right, got more firepower. Give me a trap. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think we've done it. Wave six should go smooth here. Oh, yeah, we're wearing them out. Both portals are dominating. Now we got the healer enemy that will, of course, heal itself. All right. Gonna clear out space for that. We're gonna have another zapper over here. I call it zapper like it's from the, like a Nintendo console. <laughs> All right, another smart crystal. Boom. So this is a pretty cool little game. I'm enjoying it. I think I think this is definitely still leaning towards slaps. It is definitely uh, in the slaps territory right now. Think about putting that crystal up here. Oh, I got another one. So wheat. So I'll put one back over here. Or maybe. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, I've made too much noise. Wave seven. Oh, yeah, we're tearing them up. Oh, wait, they hit my gold. All right, I think I got the gold too close over there. Now we got a new portal opening. Okay, these two side by side. All right, we can handle that. That's good. So what I need to do here is put this goal. I need to move it further away from these guys up here. So I need to... Oh, no, an enemy leveled up. Regular digs health increase. Oh, no. So this game is called digs. So I'm assuming you know, that's what the monsters are called. The main character, his name is Worf. Kind of reminds me of uh, Barf from <laughs> Spaceballs, but uh, I digress. All right, more traps. That's perfect. We need them. Could use a little more firepower in this area here, I think. Don't have uh, much else to pick, though. All right, there we go. Come on, give me a zapper. Yes. All right, now then. Now then, I dare him. I dare him. All right, wave eight. Can we make it? I think we got a better shot this time. They shouldn't touch my gold. It's my gold. I'm like a leprechaun. You touched me pot of gold. I sounded like a... I did not sound like a leprechaun. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yeah, we we got this in the bag now. Ooh, a frost trap. 
Let's try that. I haven't seen that before. Let's put Frost Trap right there. That should slow them down a little bit. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, these guys are done for. There's just no... They have... Oh, wow. They have no chance. All right. Yeah, I don't care. I made noise, so what? Put that go way back there. Wave number nine. Here we go. Oh, look at this. We just dominating these fools. Guys, you're so... You're so last year. Armor and health increase. All right, let's get some uh, cards. Oh, another frost trap. It takes seven. No, that's one. Okay, I thought it said seven noise. I'm like, no. Let's put some down here to slow these guys down a little bit. <laughs> New enemy portal open. No. Oh, my God. Holy no way. Okay, well, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Got to get zapping them immediately. All right. We're going to be... We got to increase our zapping ability. Let's get them up here. Wow. That was terrible luck. Gotta be uh, careful clicking those uh, paths. All right. Oh, there we go. Trap right in front of them. Two traps right in front of them. That should be pretty good there. Oh, and we get to order them as they get out. Yes. All right. All right. Okay. We got some help. Oh, and we can change one to a zapper. Yes. All right. Well, the game provided for us right there. Wave number 10. We go. Chesty McSpawn more greeny is out. So we got another boss coming. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh, we lost some gold. Although we did get the boss though. Here we go. And level completed. We collected gems. Five. Scored 10. Killed 142. We killed a boss. We got one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Diggs. Now, as for does this game slap or nah, I'm going to give it a mild slap. I think this game is fun. It has potential. I think they've captured a unique uh, way of playing Plants vs. Zombies. I think this is a, a very interesting game. The music's good. The monsters are interesting. The gameplay is cool. And again, this is a roguelike game. So we can upgrade our guys. So all the gems that we got, I've got 15 gems, can be used to increase our damage on the little zappers. And you get it. There's just tons of little things you can improve to make your experience better, just like a roguelike game. So I'm giving this a slaps rating of mild slaps. Check it out. This game releases July 31st. A link is in the description for you to go put it on your wish list until the release date. Like this price of this game will be $15. And thank you for watching today. We'll see you next time for another episode of Slaps or Nah. Have a good one. Stay cool.